Um, so this is an extremely short uh, presentation. I'm not a Burma studies person, uh, and I don't have any kind of grand um, things to tell you. Basically, this is just you know what we found in the library. So um, so here we go. Um, uh, the, the, the story here is when I came to SOAS, I talked to some, I started studying Burmese, I talked to some, you know, old friends uh, like Tillman Frosch and uh, Christian Bauer, and they said that, uh, that, that, that there, were, there were notebooks that where Luce had transliterated all of the old Burmese inscriptions somewhere at SOAS <laughs> in the library. But it wasn't in the catalog, you know, we, we didn't, we looked everywhere. Um, but eventually it was found in the SOAS archive, which is say not in the library archive, but in like the operational archive of the university where like the HR files are and things like that, was uh, these, these <coughs> materials. So here's um, uh, 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 an overview of uh, what's there. And now it's in the library and you can consult it by going to the to the archive, uh, you know, on, on, in the basement of the library. So uh, this is what we have. We have these epigraphical papers. As you heard for, from Carol earlier, most of Luce's collection ended up at the Australian National University. But for whatever reason, these notebooks um, were, were, were left at SOAS. They were also microfilmed in the 1980s. Uh, and, and the microfilms at the British Library and, it, and they've all been scanned and are online, both at SOAS and at the Buddhist Digital Resource Center. Uh, so you can, you can look at them. So let's uh, just sh show you. This is a, a bit about the, the history of the collection, uh, which I won't uh, read out, uh, but it was, um, it, 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 it was held you know, by Luce in, in Jersey until uh, the time of his passing, and then um, ended up at, uh, at SOAS. Uh, and then these are uh, letters about where they're discussing uh, the, the bequest. And, um, and this is a, a list of of Luce's epigraphical papers that he was proposing to transfer to SOAS. And uh, this is an overview. So we have, we have these three um, different shelf marks. And Luce transliterations, the notebooks A to Q, and those are, uh, <coughs> well, well the, the, I mean, I haven't gone through this material uh, extremely closely. But it's related to the, the, the Oxford volumes, yeah? The, you know, the big... The epigraphic epigraphic. Yeah, uh, so the the old Burmese inscriptions. Black, you mean Blackton's? Huh? No, no, not Blackton's. The, 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 I think it's just called the old Burmese inscriptions. These oh, big, okay. big yeah. from the 1930s, printed Oxford okay. University Press. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so as here, Inscriptions of Burma was the series. And the, 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 the transliterations follow the order of the uh, facsimiles that were published in this series. Uh, so here's you know, uh, a facsimile <coughs> and the transliteration. Uh, and then there are notebooks uh, with transliterations from uh, Ava inscriptions. And this is the kind of thing that it uh, looks like. Yeah, and um, there's, there's this, this is the third item, which is kind of miscellaneous papers related to uh, Burmese inscriptions. And uh, this stuff has not been studied systematically. We just rediscovered it like six months ago. So, um, you know, you feel free to, this is like an ad, you know, come visit the SARS library, look at this, or find it on the internet. Um, and then he, this is where it is on the internet, at, at the SOAS online collection. And you can flip through and uh, take a look. And then this is just a, a, a list of um, other places where loose materials are deposited, mostly at the Australian National University 
And a, a lot of the Australian National University material is available online uh, through Sealang. Uh, I don't know what Sealang's proper name? Sealang. Just Sealang, yeah. S-E-A-L-A-N-G. Yeah, so if you just Google S-E-A-Lang, L-A-N-G, uh, you can find a lot of scans of the loose um, materials that are at Australian National University. So that's the nice thing now is we, you know, this, this material at SOAS and the material at ANU are, have both been digitized and are available online. Uh, and then I'll just also mention, uh, I sort of was asked, or, or the library didn't want to show you pictures of it because of questions of copyright, uh, but the actual uh, photographs, the photographic, you know, uh, you know, the, the, not the plates, but the sort of exposures that went into the Oxford book in the 1930s are also in the SOAS library. Um, in, in old tin canisters, so, uh, so that's there too. And then, nothing to do with loose in particular, but another thing that we've, we've refound in the Sowash Library, we're on a sort of a <laughs> kick of finding old, you know, Burma-related materials, is all of the operational files of the Stuart Dictionary. I, I don't mm -hmm. know how many people know, but uh, there was a, a big dictionary project in Burma in the, in the 40s that then got kind of put on ice to some extent after, I don't know, after independence. And it was here at SOAS for a while, John O'Kell actually worked on it, and we've just refound their sort of operational archive uh, as well, just in the last couple of weeks. So those are, um, you know, uh, some, just to tell you about these things in the library, uh, and, and to some extent, if you like, this, this, this proposal, actually, I think of Carol's, to have an event about the life and work of Luce, coincided very nicely with this rediscovery of Luce's materials. So that's all of my uh, presentation.